Good morning and welcome to Monday's Bite Size Bible. We're going to start our week reading God's Word. Our reading from the Bible course is the whole of chapter 9 of Luke's Gospel. We're going to read Luke chapter 9, verse 18 to 36 today. Let's read Luke chapter 9, starting at verse 18. Once, when Jesus was praying in, a, in private and his disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say I am? They replied, Some say John the Baptist. Others say Elijah, and still others, that one of the prophets of long ago has come back to life. But what about you, he asked. Who do you say I am? Peter answered, God's Messiah. Jesus strictly warned them not to tell this to anyone, and he said, The Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law. And he must be killed, and on the third day be raised to life. Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit their very self? Whoever is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his glory, and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. Truly I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. About eight days after Jesus said this, he took Peter, John and James with him, and went up onto a mountain to pray. As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed, and his clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendour, talking with Jesus. They spoke about his departure, which he was about to bring to fulfilment at Jerusalem. Peter and his companions were very sleepy, but when they became fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with them. As the men were leaving Jesus, Peter said to him, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. He did not know what he was saying. While he was speaking, a cloud appeared and covered them, and they were afraid as they entered the cloud. A voice came from the cloud saying, This is my son whom I have chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, they found that Jesus was alone. The disciples kept this to themselves and did not tell anyone at that time what they had seen. Must have been truly remarkable to have been there. Let's turn and pray. A prayer of Athanasius. You are Jesus, the Son of the Father. You are the one who commands the cherubim and the seraphim. You have existed with the Father in truth always. You rule the angels. You are the power of the heavens. You are the crown of the martyrs. You are the deep counsel of the saints. You are the one in whom the deep counsel of the Father is hidden. You are the mouth of the prophets. You are the language of the angels. You are Jesus, my life. You are Jesus, the object and boast of the world. You are Jesus, and we praise you. Amen. And let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen.